Hello guys, welcome back to another uh, another Europa Universalis 4 video. Let's hop into it, shall we? Um, this is going to be a one-off video. Um, just showing you a campaign that I did as drones. Hopefully it loads here. Whoops, there we are. This is what I was able to do as France. Now, I usually, when I play a Europa Universalis 4 campaign, I record it no matter what as like I just I don't like doing campaigns and not having you here to give me advice or to enjoy campaign that I'm doing but I got so far ahead in the Brandenburg campaign that I wanted to really play some Europa Universalis 4 so as you could have seen in those previous saves that I did this French campaign and I'm doing an Ottoman campaign in the new beta patch um, which I will show you that too and talk about the beta patch in that episode and in the upcoming Brandenburg episode and I may start a series as Austria because fuck it, right? So anyway, this is what I was able to do as France. I know it's not that impressive. I mean, I got most of Europe. Let's let's see the land. I don't have most of Europe, some of Africa. I didn't colonize that. Um, what basically happened is um, I got a PU um, over Spain. And that's how I got that land. So that's why it's Florida and not, I think... The equivalent of the French colony would be at the end, Florida. I don't, I don't remember. Um, Hungary. I did some vassal feeding over here. I ate Austria. For the most part, most of the stuff over here I ate, except Spain. And I did some vassal feeding over here. I took out the Ottomans. Like I weakened them enough so Bulgaria could get strong. Um, I destroyed the HRE, as you can see. No HRE anymore. Let me go to the HRE map mode doesn't exist it's gone i destroyed it and i'm very happy to do so too and as you can see there's like only two princes left um from the original empire so that's 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 the thing oh shit i forgot to s forgot to say well um well i say at the end of this video um let me go to the leisure and look at look at some stuff so as for countries our treasury, we, we have the most money in our treasury. We have the highest income with 511 ducats. Uh, ma maximum manpower, of course, maximum manpower. I don't think I finished the tech, so... I mean, I got 93, which is pretty good. Power projection, we got 58. That's pretty nice, pretty nice. I'm trying to pay more attention to power projection, so that's that's the thing. Whoops. Uh, prestige, got 96 prestige, pretty good. Um, score comparison, of course... We're at the top with 14,657, and we get 13 points a month. So, actually, nobody can catch up to us. Like, we're ahead of Brazil, so no one can catch up to us, which is kind of sad for them. Um, religions, Catholicism, of course, reign supreme in this game. Added something interesting uh, happen also happened in this game. The entire HRV was Protestant. Like, as of now, you can see that I converted it all to uh, um, Catholic. But when I played as the HRV, not played as HRV, I played as France, and the Reformation happened, most of the countries became Protestant and Reformed. Like, the majority of the HRV was Protestant and Reformed, which was very interesting. But Sweden stayed Catholic and England stayed Catholic, which was also interesting, too. Um anything else I can look at here while just showing you what I did in this campaign uh, uh, I can go to the military tab totals largest military at 720,000 and I had a force of 919,000 and my navy I had, I had the large navy the largest navy force it looks like but I think that's it that I'm going to tell you about this campaign so I'm going to unpause so I could in the game basically and oh yeah the ideas I did all these ideas except the last one because probably was focusing on other stuff trying to get military tech or something and as you can also see I have the largest army largest navy most provinces highest province value highest income and highest trade income so I think I did very good in this campaign so one thing I want to mention before the end of this episode as you can see the UI looks different and that is because I'm now recording at my native resolution before I was recording at 2080p now I'm recording at 1440p which is like 
I mean, it makes the UI look better and not shit. Um, I just had to change the around the way I start my audio recording and that stuff, so that should be nice. Um, but that's gonna be it for this one-off episode of showing you my French French campaign. Um, and no, it wasn't the best. Like I, as fans, you could have I could have done more, but I would just want to learn more about the patch, more about the um, in one point twelve, of course, and I want to learn more about the um. The what was 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 some um, common sense, but with that, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching this episode of Europa Universalis for France campaign. See you in my next in the next episode.